Hi, it's Steve from Brand Logic. We're the agency that's working with the marketing department on the Centerlight brand launch that's coming up very shortly. And this video has been put together to help you set up the AV equipment that has shown up at your doorstep. Uh, this is for the smaller package. Uh, if you have one of the larger packages, there is another video for you, and uh, we'll send you a link to that. But this is a fairly simple setup, and let's talk about what you probably got, hopefully you got. Uh, you got a laptop computer and a mouse. All the laptops are exactly the same. You got a box full of cables containing a couple of different types of cables. You've got a six foot HDMI cable, which we'll talk about in a second. Actually, we'll talk about all these cables. You've got microphone cables. You've got something called a direct box, which is a little black box um, that we would use to connect to speakers. You've got extension cords and probably uh, uh, a power strip as well. You've got two JBL speakers in a black rolling box and speaker stands as well. You may or may not need the speakers, but if you do, we're going to show you how to connect those. So let's talk about how to get connected. Most of the places that I visited over the last three weeks have some sort of flat screen TV in your main room, whether it's your day room, your day health care center, your uh, rec room, whatever you call it at your particular facility. Uh, I saw a number of wonderful flat screens, and what we're going to do is get the computer that has been sent to you connected to your flat screen TV using what's called the HDMI cable. The great thing about this cable is it takes care of everything. It takes care of audio, it takes care of video, and all you have to do is connect it from your laptop to your TV and you are good to go. So here's the cable. This is what it looks like, so you want to find that in your cable box. Uh, it's same connection on both sides. And first thing you want to do is try to find the HDMI input on your TV. A number of them, when I looked uh, at your sites, were on the sides of the TVs. So you should be able to see these. As you can see down here, here's what they look like. They may be behind your TV, so if your TV comes away from the wall, take a look there. But find that HDMI port and plug one end of the cable into the HDMI port of your TV. Second, what you want to do is you want to take the other side of that cable and you want to plug it into the laptop that you got. Uh, the laptop has an HDMI port. It's right here. It's the third input here on the left-hand side. So there's two USB ports and then there's the HDMI port. Remember, you want to be connected to the Internet as well. You don't want to be wireless. You want to be hardwired connected to the Internet. So if you have a problem with that, make sure that you talk to IT and make sure that you're connected. Uh, you're probably going to have to select the HDMI input from your television. So again, this is the television we used. Uh, you can see there's a number of different inputs. There's probably stuff for your Wii, your cable box, uh, your DVD player. You want to select the HDMI input that you uh, plugged into and then call up something um, that has audio and video. In this case, I chose YouTube. And just check that connection. Make sure the video looks good and make sure the audio looks good and you should be good to go. If there's any problems, you have any questions, again, give me a call uh, or give me a, shoot me an email, let me know how to reach you. But this is the simplest way to connect to the Internet for the webcast that's going to happen on February 6th uh, and should be good for most audiences. If you have a larger audience, let's say you know 25 or more, and you want to learn about how to connect the uh, speakers, stay tuned, and I'm going to go through that next. But if you don't uh, and you're good to go and this works for you, then you don't have to watch any more of this video. So for those of you who have a larger audience at your location, perhaps 25, 30 or more, uh, and the TV audio won't work, you want to set up the speakers. And I'm going to show you how to do that pretty quickly. Um, one thing you don't want to do is disconnect the HDMI cable. The screen, uh, the visual screen from your computer needs to be connected to your TV. And the way we're going to do that is through the HDMI cable. But what we are going to do is show you how to connect the computer to the speakers through the direct box which you see there on the bottom left, uh, and the speakers on the right. Uh, so let's talk about how we're going to do that real quick, okay? Um, first thing we're going to do is going to connect the direct box. You will find this cable in your cable box. It has an eighth inch cable here, uh, which plugs into the computer, and then these two uh, cables which plug into the direct box. And let's see how that happens. In the front of your computer, you're going to see on the left-hand side, there's two little jacks here. Uh, one of them is for headphones, and that's the one on the left. So you're going to plug the eighth-inch side of that cable into there. And then you're going to take this direct box, and you're going to plug the two quarter-inch cables, which are these. And it doesn't matter which goes in which, whether it's red or white or white or red, but you want to put that in the in-slash-out part of the 
direct box. Uh, this is the correct way to connect this uh, into the direct box. Uh, next thing you want to do is find a mic cable. Uh, what you'll notice about the mic cable is there are two different um, sides to the mic cable. There's what they call the male side and the female side. And what you're going to want to do is take that male side of the mic cable and plug it into the opposite side of the direct box right here. Um, there's no way you can plug it into the other side, so this is going to be pretty self-explanatory. This switch here you really don't need to worry about unless there's some sort of buzzing happening with the speakers. You may flip that back and forth, but otherwise you don't need to pay attention to that uh, little switch there. The direct box has its own power. Next thing we're going to do is set up the speakers. Uh, you'll have a box, um, probably on wheels, that has these two JBL Eon speakers in them, and then you'll have the speaker uh, tripods, the speaker stands. You want to set these up, again, pretty self-explanatory. You put the speakers on top of the tripods here. Uh, there's a little screw on the back of the speakers to make sure that they're safe and secure. Uh, but this is a pretty simple setup, and this is what it'll look like when you're all done. So let's talk about connecting the speakers up. Uh, again, remember, we connected the direct box, and the speakers on the back of them, they're self-powered speakers, by the way, so they don't need any amplifiers or anything like that. Over on the left-hand side is the power, so that's where you plug in the power cord, uh, along with turning them on. And then on the right-hand side, you've got the output, the input, and the volume. What we're going to focus on first here is the input. Uh, this is where we're going to take the input from the direct box and get it into the speaker. So you take that mic cable from the direct box, uh, the other side of the mic cable, the one that's obviously not plugged into the direct box, and you want to plug it in here to the input section of the speaker. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to find another mic cable and we're going to connect it to the output of that same speaker. This is going to connect the second speaker uh, to the computer. So we've got the input coming from the direct box. Then we've got another mic cable, the male side, plugged in here to the output that is running to the second speaker. Okay, and again, what you're going to do here is you're going to take the mic cable from speaker one, you're going to plug it into the input of speaker two. You may have a bunch of cables running around on the floor at this point. Uh, if you're just testing your system, you can leave them like that, but the day of the show, you probably want to tape those cables down with some gaffer's tape, some duct tape, or something like that. Right underneath the uh, input and output sections of the speakers, on the right-hand side of the back, is the volume. The top side, the top knob, is the one you want to worry about. That is the volume for the speakers. So you can adjust your volume for both speakers right there. The last thing we need to do is tell the computer to send the audio portion of your computer to the speakers and not to the TV. Because remember, we've got that HDMI cable connected to the TV. The HDMI cable connects both audio and video, but we don't want the audio going to the TV. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go down here to the bottom right-hand side of your uh, computer screen, and there's a little speaker. And what you're going to want to do is right click on that speaker and you're going to have a couple of options and what you want to choose is this sound and audio devices properties box. Uh, it's usually the bottom uh, selection. What you want to do once you get to this window is you want to click on the audio tab and when you click on the audio tab uh, you're going to see this right here which is the default device and there's going to be two devices. You're going to have what's called SoundMax HD audio which is the sound card that's in the computer and then you're going to have the HDMI device. And what that is, is the cable that's connected to your computer. To make this very simple, we don't want the audio going through HDMI. We want it going through the, the computer itself. So you're going to select that uh, device, the SoundMax HD audio. And then what you're going to do is you're going to hit Apply. You're going to hit OK. And you should be good to go. Again, we have uh, YouTube up here. I would suggest you get YouTube or Ustream.tv, which is what we're going to be using for the webcast and give it a test. Give it uh, a test uh, with the speakers. Remember the volume on the speakers. Make sure your connections are all uh, uh, proper. And again, if you have any problems whatsoever, I'm Steve. Moshell at Brand Logic is the best way to reach me. Uh, send me your uh, question. Give me your phone number. Let me know the best time to reach you and I will make sure to get in touch with you and we'll get it all set up. Okay? And again, thanks so much for participating in this, being such a part of this great brand launch. We know it's going to be a wonderful experience for everybody. And again, if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks so much.